What is up yet again, everyone? Phil here, and we are now about to start episode 3 of this Hitman game from 2016. This one is going to be called uh, Marrakesh. No, actually, let me take that back. It's called A Gilded Cage. It takes place in Marrakesh, which I believe is a location in Morocco. Cool stage. Look at it. Just a little preview thumbnail there. Looks pretty interesting. Uh, we've had a wide variety of locations so far. First it was Paris, then it was Italy, and now Morocco. Hopefully... This will be as good as the last one. And just like I did with episode 2, I'll play through the main assassination. And I'll probably end up with a little bit of extra time where I'll check out some of the variations that they've put into this episode as well. Okay. Alright, here we go. Everyone ready? A Gilded Cage. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane. Ooh, two, two of the targets. conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Oh, how dare they! Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Ah, a jailbreak. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered. Huh. To Demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. Oh, wow. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Ah, that's smart. Operating out of a field huh. HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further. Hence the double contract. This so, is quite the political powder cake, 47. Yeah. So be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. This is for crazy, this mission. So at one point, I have to sneak into a school and assassinate the general whose headquarters are at the school, but then I have to go across the map to this consulate, and I have to sneak into the consulate and kill this, this guy, this political prisoner, basically, who was esca who escaped because the general orchestrated his uh, escape that morning. That's pretty crazy. Huh. So, this could be one of the most interesting missions so far. It's two completely separate things in one. It's not like they're both in the same location, you know what I mean? Alright, let's take a look at the planning. Can I get a smuggled item? What item do I want? Large agency pickup at the Lamp Shop Alley. What do I want to smuggle? So, if I find this in the Lamp Shop Alley, I can get a smuggled item. A remote breaching charge... Proximity explosive, extra coins, far, farber, I said farber wire. Oh my god. Faber wire, mod, a modern lethal syringe. Oh shit, a sniper rifle. That, dude, that could be incredibly useful. Especially with that consulate. If that guy's standing in front of the window like a dick shit, just fucking boom, blow his fucking face off through the window with a sniper rifle. I think, honestly, out of all of them, that's what I'm gonna go for. In this mission. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to find that pickup. I didn't find it. In episode 2, I had a, a special pickup area, and I never found it. Concealed weapon is a si silenced gun. Oh, look at this. It's fancy. It's the same gun, only it's chrome. Alright, let's go for the chrome look. Here you go. Ooh, this, he's wearing the summer suit. Isn't that nice? He could also wear, wow, the 47 signature suit or the requiem suit. Nah, we'll go for the summer suit. I like that. That look. We got the coin, right? Oh, you could pick something else. Hmm. You know what? <clears throat> in this in this mission, I've I really wished I had a lockpick in a few in the two previous episodes. I'm going for the lockpick this time. It may be more effective than the coin. And then you got the fiber wire. I haven't used the fiber wire at all, have I? No, I haven't. I'm trying to think about it. I haven't used it. I might go for the coin and the lockpick and forget the fiber wire. Because he just... He chokes people out. 
Yeah, you know what? I don't want the fiber wire. Well, I'm probably, this would be a horrible mistake, isn't it? Alright, whatever. Let's do it. Okay. This could be very interesting. Two completely separate kind of assassinations in different areas. How are they going to do How big is this map? Because you got to think, you know, you would think that the school wouldn't be next to the consulate. Maybe it is. Maybe just for the hell of it, it's two buildings right next to each other or something. I'm glad I took the lockpick. I think I learned my lesson from the past two episodes. The locked doors I couldn't open. <laughs> okay. Well, we got excessive loading. There's been excessive loading in the first two episodes. So this, they still haven't really uh, done much here, have they? To fix this. No, they haven't. I wonder if the disc version of the game will run better. What I, with Welcome the loading and to stuff. Marrakesh 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The Riots. consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. You know what would be really cool? If you could become one of the riot inciters and have the people storm the fucking consulate themselves. How sick would that be? Wait, what's this? Oh, enter. So here we are. A market. What's this? A brick. So I don't know anything about the the uh, you know the layout of this this map. We're gonna have to investigate. Storage room. Oh, you're tall and handsome. What the hell? Hey, baby. Wait a minute. <laughs> subdue, subdue her. Everyone's watching the riots. So I can go left or right here, but I don't know where my assassination targets are at all. I have no idea. Woo -woo. Let's go for a walk. Hello. Oh, I'm very sorry. Uh, let me get out of your way. Where are you going? So I don't know where. Oh, there's a guard right there. Hello, I don't. I don't know where this alley is. Is it a Turkish alley shop or something? To get a pickup. Screwdriver. I'll grab that. That could come in useful. Create an oil leak, missing the wrench. Who the hell's gonna? No one's gonna walk through here, right? Turn off the lights. Oh, high voltage power outlet. Let me put this away. Equip the coin. Wish I could find the alley where my pickup is. All right, there's a dead end right here. Let's take a look. Oh, oh. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? Doesn't seem to be able to park on the damn thing. But, but that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right, and <laughs> maybe my- The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ Lives right above the carpet shop. Huh. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Ah. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. That's interesting for sure. Getting the head or getting the key to open all it's a master key for the, the school. Let's get it. We definitely should get that key. <laughs> Give your old man some credit, Marwan. It might surprise you yet. Anyway, good run. See you around. I marked it, but I don't see the uh, area for it. Oh, sorry, my fault. Can't go there. That's the way to the school. You can even see the target right there. But there's no way to get into the school right now. What's up here? That's oh, a shop. Clothing shop. What's up with those beads? I never understood that. There's some, there's some places they have beads hanging in the doorway. What's the point of that? Just to make noise so you know someone's coming in? I guess I can see that. So now we're going to be on the rooftop. Wow, so this stage has two two purposes. What is this? Yes, good. This is the guy. 
There's the key. When his best friend is killed by a Langley approved drone strike in the mountains of Pakistan, CIA analyst Nick Sparta quits the agency in protest. Three years later, oh shit, you could Nick poison the shisha pipe and kill this guy. What the fuck? That's fucked up. Interpol agent hands him a badly damaged USB key containing fragments of the mysterious Omega Charter. Alright, before I do anything, I'm gonna save here. I'm smart. I'm not gonna fucking try something and blow it. I gotta try to get this guy out of here. Get this guy out of here. And then grab the key. Alright, wow, look at all these saves I have. Um... I guess I'll just start saving over these. I don't need them anymore. Here we go. Okay. Nick Sparta is forced back into the deadly world of espionage. A sinister cabal of powerful individuals are orchestrating a coup d'etat that could potentially destabilize the entire region. And Nick is the only one with the knowledge and skills to perform. Jeez. There you go. Got the key. Disguise as the headmaster. Oh shit. Pick my coin back up. So I'm disguised as the old headmaster of the school. So they may think that I actually am the headmaster and if I walk in they might not even question why I'm there. Oh shit. Okay, so where's my target? There's the other target. There he is. I don't think I can do anything over here, can I? Can I jump over this? No. I was gonna say, can I ju ju jump down or around, but I can't. Okay. Did you see those guards are doing push-ups? Look. The guards are doing fucking push-ups down there. All right. So one big opportunity has been granted. Buy this kid. Fuck. You need clearance to pass. You don't have it, buddy, so. Uh... Phew. Alright, they say I don't have clearance to pass. I gotta find another way in. Thank God for this freaking row of garments here. That kid was gonna fucking alert people. I gotta find another way in. Not a problem. Go look around. All right, let's see what we got over here. Uh oh, is that the girl? That must be the the uh, the girl who was with the kid. God damn it. What's he doing? Hey, who the hell are you? You there. You no. me. Hey. Alright, we're getting out of the way. We're fine. Whoa, look at this. Like a market. It's pretty wild. A lot of people here. A restaurant. Nice fountain. <laughs> Sneak through the restaurant here. Oh, over here is my pickup. Look, that's on my map. Let's see if I can get over there. This way, it says. If I can find my pickup, I get the sniper rifle. 
What's she saying? Palm pads? Hello. Ooh, your body, move your body. Bam, 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 bam. All right, I found it. Nice. All right, I'm obviously not gonna hold this. <laughs> ah, crap, I'm visibly armed. Well, this ain't gonna work. Shit. How do I stash this thing? Shit. This isn't gonna work. I thought that... I thought that he could, like, disguise it, but he can't, apparently. What do I do with this fucking rifle now? I don't want it. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Can I drop it in here? No, you can't drop it. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm just gonna drop it then. He drops it right on the floor. That's great. Well, we know it's here. See, I, yeah, good thing I didn't grab it. This soldier would have got me right away. I'm gonna have to find a way to, if I need to use it, sneak it through these streets past all these guards. I don't think the people will really give a shit. It's just a few people might be alerted, like the guards. <laughs> Nador. No, Nado Nador in the stream chat says I should just hide the rifle under my hat. <laughs> Here's a rooftop. Let's see where this goes. Oh, shit. I don't think that's going to work. There's a guard. I wanted to go to the rooftop, but the guard saw it. There's a guy sitting there. He did not like that very much. So, where's my target? My target's the school's to the left. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God. That's the consulate over there. Wow, this is a huge map. Nothing here. See, I'm walking around. I'm wondering where the opportunities are. They gotta be hidden. You gotta find them. Bum, bum, ba, da, ba, ba. Uh, okay. That's okay. Can I go up this staircase? Yes. Hmm. What the fuck is this? I sneak by this woman. Huh. Someone's playing silly buggers. Someone's playing silly buggers. Well, quite honestly, I didn't want to knock her out, but I was forced to. Drag her. There we go. Bloop. All right, now let's see if we can get to get if we can get to the consulate from the rooftops. It might help. Oh shit! There he is, dude. If I had the sniper rifle, I could snipe him. I think if he could, if I could get him to come to the window, I should be able to snipe him from right here. How much you want to bet he does walk over here too? This is an opportunity to kill him. I bet. Let me save again. Let me save, and then I'll watch him for a few minutes, and I'll see if, uh, if he does come to the front. If he does, I'll go grab the sniper rifle and try to get here. <laughs> 